logic dictates that there can be only one conclusion in this case. A state's attempt to regulate the flow in money in whatever form constitutes a violation of the Interstate Commerce Clause. We do not forget the state's implicit duty to ensure that the financial institutions registered or incorporated within it must be reviewed by the states. We take issue only with their attempt to regulate, not to review. This distinction is of crucial importance and was thoroughly discussed by Justice Williams in the Hennessy case. There, Justice Williams made the point that with the advent of electronic transfers of money, such as a credit card, the issue of dealing with monetary matters related to interstate commerce had assumed new and entirely different dimension. Wrong. It's the Interstate Commerce Clause. I mean, do you know it's the Interstate Commerce Clause? Yeah, I know right? that. Well, if you know that, why don't you find the right citations? I mean, every one of these citations are wrong. It's 647 and on. That's Golden, what you do. You've got to give me some help Sides, on do this, me right? Go outside and get some candles. Get some more candles. Golden, it's freezing out there. Look, we don't know when the electricity is going to come I know back that, on. i got a lot of Just work to do, and I can't be running around. <clears throat> Just get the candles. Somebody's got right, to do right, it, okay? All right. Okay, you're doing okay. Batcher, you get that, that piece on limited partnership. There wasn't any heat in the library. The lights went Please on Please don't off. give me excuses. Just give me work, okay? But I have one. <coughs> oh, are you all right? <coughs> Let me slam you on the back. I'm fine. Don't worry about your own work, not me. There's too much to do to be sick. Sure. Notes and comments are done. Send my boys over to the dorms. I got a bunch of manual typewriters from the one L. Don't oh, answer, Golden. How come we're not doing that article on the law of outer space? Not now. God, I'm getting sick of you always saying not now. The law of outer space is very interesting. And there have been no developments in the field. The Martians haven't landed That's yet. Ridiculous. Please, I don't have any time to argue. Well, make time for it, Golden. Look, it's too bad you aren't elected president. I feel sorry. <clears throat> And since I am the president of the review, do you mind if we do things my way? I select what we publish. I mind, Golden, a lot. Peters, will you shut the damn door? <clears throat> it's freezing. Hello, boy. Easy does it now. Easy does it. Couple more. Four or five more. All right. Okay, one more now. Easy. Easy. Okay. Golden! Ray. Oh, hi. You're S28. A what? Well, you're finally going online with the rest of the university. This will give you access to the central brain. Where do you want it? <coughs> Golden, you all right? <coughs> uh, is this the law review or an infirmary? It goes over there. But there's no electricity right now to run it. Just leave the box. Well, you wouldn't know what to do with what's inside it. Look, suppose we just start the setup, and when your juice goes back on, you'll be all fixed up. You don't seem to understand. We're kind of busy right now. You're busy. Right. Look, do you want your S-28 or not? Personally, I don't care if you guys do all your work by candlelight and use calligraphy. But if you want the hookup, the time is now. Listen, this is just one little basement in one little section of one huge, humongous university. Next time I get back to you, it'll be summer. Do we want it? Fantastic! Hey, Thatcher, come here. An S-28. Not only do we want it, we need it more than I can tell you. Look, I'll take over, Golden. Says the limited, says the limited partner. Does any act outside of the limited partner should become a general partner? Yes, sir. It'll be over right away. No, no one can be. Hunter was the controller of the company. When he called about the insurance, they rivaled the general all right, Sh I'll tell you where to put it. I got to go now. Yeah, uh, right over this <coughs> way. Okay, we got it. Golden, what's up? Nothing's back to mind. Golden, listen, someone has to tell you that you are sick as hell. Right over here, okay? Hey! 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 Hey
That's the message. It means go back to work. God has given you an answer. <coughs> your, uh, your S-28 terminal connects through the university telephone system directly to the mother computer. Now, you're on a time-sharing system with everyone else who uses the mother. But don't worry. It's gigantic. And it has a memory capacity to store anything you guys could write in a hundred years. Plus, it'll correct your spelling, set your type, even check your grammar. Look at that. It'll do everything but change your diapers. <laughs> What are you doing now? I'm showing you that this is more than just a glorified typewriter. Yeah, but we're lawyers. What'll it do for us? Where have you been? It can do everything. Computers have been doing legal research for years. Think about it, Zeiss. All Supreme Court decisions. In fact, almost the entire federal system is in the computer bank. Now you won't have to go to the smelly old library. This baby can find a court case for you in maybe three milliseconds. Well, how long does it take you to find a case now, huh? And when you do find what book it's in, you probably find that it's already been checked out of the library, right? Well, nobody can check anything out of the S-28. There you go. Okay, honey, do your stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it can find information, but can it digest it, tell you what's relevant? To a particular problem? I mean, sure, maybe it can find a case, but can it think? Tell you what to do with it? What's your name? Hart. Hart. Before we get into a detailed explanation of just what it'll do, let me tell you something, Mr. Hart. The S-28 is your friend. Never insulted. It can do anything you can do in 18 times more. Your first lesson, Mr. Hart, treat it with respect. Golden. Uh, Professor Kingsfield will see you now. Thank you. In this case, time is of the essence. I've been asked to file the amicus brief on the interstate commerce clause in three days' time. I need not stress how important this brief is. The major outlines of my argument have been mapped. The strategy is all planned. But as to the footnotes, I shall need student assistance. You've assisted me before. Can you help me prepare them now? Of course. <coughs> Golden, you do not appear well. Can you do this work? Get your team at the Law Review working effectively? Oh, fine, Professor. I feel honored that you would ask me to help you. been messing with this stereo? I haven't touched it. Why? I'm trying to get the weather report and all I can get is static. How long is this damn storm gonna last anyway? We got a new computer terminal down at the uh, review. Great. Can it plug into the government's weather division? Probably. Thing seems to do everything but cook dinner. It's creepy. <laughs> James, you are the possessor of a true Midwestern mind. If you can't grow it or eat it, you don't want to know about it. Well, things have changed, James. The whole world is connected now. There's this invisible web of electricity holding everything together. Credit cards, telephones, satellites, they're here to stay. Communities in the region are completely isolated, cut off. Motorists huddle in freezing gas stations, their cars paralyzed. As many as 10,000 homes are without electricity. And yet life does continue in our stricken area. In churches and in schools, shelters have been set up. In a certain way, the tragic storm enlightens us, brings us together. People are helping people. Can you believe this guy? I mean, he's telling us everything except the weather report. And families right. become closer as they are confined to their homes for days at a time. And there seems to be no relief on the way. It looks as though this storm will Great. continue for another Do have some there? This blizzard has brought a total of 10 feet of snow, and we can expect right. another three to four. Well, professor, several students called to inquire if you're canceling class tomorrow because of the storm. Dr. Homer, I've considered several options. 
Slowly. Snowshoes, snowmobiles, skis, and even dog sleds. Never in the entire history of the school have I for one moment considered cancelling a class. <coughs> No more typos from you, Thatcher. <coughs> Golden, you all right? I'm fine. I just look terrible because I'm trying to make you feel sorry for me, so you'll do a fistful of work I'm about to drop in your lap. I need somebody to help me. Kingsfield? Yes, he, he wants us to backstop him on the footnotes to a brief. Interstate Commerce Clause, it's a big one. Yet it's too much work for me. Oh, don't look at me like it's the end of the world. <clears throat> I'll pull you from the woven case. And remember, any time you get to work for Kingsfield, you learn something. <clears throat> I know that, but it also means the thing has to be perfect. <clears throat> I've got my seminar. <clears throat> I've got... <clears throat> I'll do it. I'll do it. You need help. You're sick as hell. Hart, I could work you under the table with my eyes tied, with my arms tied behind my back and my feet being roasted on hot coals. Yeah? You want to know the truth? I was a little under, but all that has passed now, I feel warm. And it's a great feeling. Golden? What the hell? God, forget the goddamn machine. I think Golden's dead. So choked up, I I can't see straight. Feeling better? I feel terrible. I got walk in pneumonia or something. <laughs> and they won't let me out of here. They, they don't seem to realize I got an issue to get out. <laughs> don't worry. Everything's fine. Hot, are you hearing me all right? Yeah, sure. words. The Kingsfield peace is yours. Promise me you'll get it done. These, these are your last words? <laughs> Come on, just listen to me before I fall asleep. Swear to me you'll get it in on time. You see, Hart, I've never failed Kingsfield before. Swear to me, please. I swear, I swear. You rest. Now, you rest. They tell me you're going to be fine. Last year, I was elected note and comment editor of this review and vice president. Our bylaws clearly state that in the event the president cannot function, the vice president is in full charge. Come on, Shaw. How's Golden doing, anyway? Have you talked with his doctors? Yes, I have talked with his doctors. We don't know when Golden is coming back, if ever. It takes a tough man, someone with a strong constitution, to run this review. Maybe Golden won't be allowed back, uh, for health reasons. So from now on, I'll be issuing the assignments, reviewing your work. Terrific, Shaw. <clears throat> Here, Zeiss, I'm pulling you off your piece. Come on, Shaw, I worked my ass I off I want on you that to article. do an article on the law of outer space, you know, uh, possible treaties dealing with satellites. Space, That's a, come on. Well, we'll talk privately, okay? Now, this place has been run like a sloppy, quaint rest home. From now on, it's going to be efficient. Modern. You're going to love it. Okay, now get to work. Hart, I want you. Where have you been? What? Come on, Hart. We've got a lot of exciting work to do around here. No time for you to take a holiday. 
I just saw Golden in the hospital. Forget about Golden. Work for me now. I know about that project you were working on for Kingsville and Golden. Zap it on the S-28. You understand? What? No, I, I need specific cases for interstate commerce. And the computer will help make your decisions. Ah. Uh, you're gonna love working with the S-28, Hart. Wait a minute. Golden gave me the Kingsfield assignment. I only have two days. Let me do it my way. I don't even know how to run the S-28, and I'm not sure I want to know. Golden isn't here. I'm not taking anything away from you, Hart. I'm just telling you how to do it. There's a few things I want to change around here, a few things I want to prove. People are watching. This is my chance. Understand? I think I'm beginning to. You asked to see me, Mr. Shaw? Professor, I'm sure you know that Mr. Golden is in the hospital with pneumonia. I'm aware of most of what goes on in this law school. As second in command of the law review, I've had to assume control. I wanted to assure you that the review will come out on time. I expect no less. The management of the review is an important duty, and its publication is one of the highest achievements of this law school. For that reason, I expect a lot. I'm also aware that you asked Mr. Golden to assist in the preparations of a brief. Footnotes to a brief, which I expect within 48 hours. No problem, sir. I've taken personal command of the situation. Your footnotes will be done perfectly, ahead of time. Also, I think you'll find that the review will operate more smoothly than it ever has before. Are you suggesting that the operation of this review has been inadequate? And is it your further implication that its president, Mr. Golden, has not conducted it effectively? Is that what you are suggesting, sir? Oh, I didn't mean that at all, Professor Kingsfield. I just didn't want you to be worried. I seldom worry. Now, if you want to access some portion of the computer bank, let's say uh, federal court decisions, OK? You have to type in the code first. How do, I, how do I find the code? Hey, I don't know anything about the law. I mean, I know there are federal courts and there's a Supreme Court, but that's the extent of my knowledge. So, until you memorize all the codes, you'll have to look them up. And that goes for working the machine, too. You'll just have to learn, Hart. How? The manuals. Here. Oh. No, this is, this is more work than going to the library. <laughs> Thatcher, I read your book review. You have to do it over. It's sloppy. Shaw, that work was already approved by Golden. Golden's not here. He answered to me. So, oh, Lars, I'm, I'm never going to understand this stuff. Hard, you're a bright young fellow. You'll get it. It just takes a little bit of time. But when you finally get all your data loaded, I mean, this baby will print out your stuff so fast you won't believe it. You get the hang of this S-28 yet, Hart? No. What's the matter with you? I thought you were an expert. I mean, uh... I know he's no genius, but let's speed it up. Look, I don't work for you. No back talk either. What's the matter with that guy? Absolute power corrupts. Maybe he's just a bastard. Mom, I had all my vitamins. I drank all the chicken soup. Don't you want me to be a lawyer? I won't fail, Mom. I won't fail. Hart, Hart, recheck the Kingsfield footnotes. To check the international law reviews. Look, get some British citations. I won't fail. Size, size, pull the piece. Pull the piece. We'll use it in a later edition. I won't fail, Ma. I won't fail. I got into school. I work. I'm smart. I prove myself. I'll work hard. You like me if you work. Ma, I did it. I got it. I can't. I gotta work. I'm working hard. Hey, if you work hard, I. How are we feeling today? Did anybody visit me last night late? Visiting hours end at 6, Mr. Golden. If you had any visitors, I'm pretty sure they were all in your head. 
like I was hallucinating. Well, you're so loaded up with codeine to stop that cough and clear your chest, you probably dreamed of dancing elephants. Wait a minute. Let me have that scarf. <coughs> Why? You're not going anywhere. How did it get here? It's time for your morning shot, Mr. Golden. Come on, roll over. Lift your rope. I haven't been outside in days. I can't believe you're going back there, especially this time of night. I have got to. I can't get the hang of that computer. I swear to God, that thing hates me. I'm sure it's very fond of you. All it says is error, error, improper data. I mean, I feel like I can see it smiling at me as I make mistakes. I am not good with machines. I mean, the, I go into the library, I grab a book, I can feel it. I have it in my hand, but that S-28 is like a person from outer space. You have to learn its language. You have to be nice to it. Are you too hot? Is it too cold? When the machine is too cold, it shuts down and tells you it's too cold. Have you tried blowing in its ear? I can't do Kingsfield's notes this way. Do you have a choice? I had one. But I didn't have the strength or the courage to do anything about it. When Shaw took over, I should have told him, this is my work, I will do it my own way. What's the matter with Shaw anyway? He's trying to ruin the review? <laughs> James, in a couple of years, computers are going to be everywhere, so you better not fight it. You're going to have to live with it, so you might as well try to understand it. And what do you think Shaw's up to? You think he's trying to make the review better? <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is his chance. Golden is out of the way. Shaw now has a perfect opportunity to impress Kingsfield, to show him what a great leader he is, to show him how fast he can get things done. Shaw is out for himself, and the S-28 is just a tool to help him get to the top. And so are you. Looks tough, but it'll get easier every time. What the hell do you think you're doing? You're not addressing me. Who the hell do you think I'm talking to, an S-28? Excuse me. Hey, look, why did you go? You can't leave Hart alone with that computer. You must be operating under a delusion. I told you before, I don't work for you. I work for the university. It's been a great pleasure hooking you into the system. Oh, now, wait a minute, wait. Look, does Hart know how to run that damn thing yet? He's learning. That's not good enough. I gotta have something out of there by tonight. I taught him everything I know. But I'm afraid right now I have other work to do. It's too bad I don't have time to reprogram you. Good night, young man. Interstate Commerce Clause. Commerce Clause. State Commerce Clause. Yes, yes, God, do I. Two, one. Thank you. 
thousand cases, I found 75 that are appropriate and relevant, and I am about to stuff them into the memory. Listen, Hart, a lot of us have had it with Shaw. The way he changed all the assignments, it totally contradicts the way Golden had it. So we're gonna do something. Like what? Like revolution. Oh, I'd love to, but I don't have the time. How'd it go, Hart? Fantastic. I'm almost done. Great. Zeiss, I want to see that research you're working on. Thatcher, I want to see your revisions. Hendricks? Where the hell is everybody? What the hell's the matter with you guys? Those are orders, got it? Listen, I want to tell you something. This is the best issue of the review in years. And you want to know why? Because for the first time, I made you work. For the first time, you made us not want to work, Shaw. We've had it. Look, I've made up a list of minimal demands. And the first one is, we're going to form an executive committee to run this office until Golden gets better. Thatcher, do Zeiss's work. Zeiss, get lost. No. What is this? It's called Revolution, Shaw. Listen to us now or you do this entire issue by yourself. And you can't do it alone. Oh, oh God, get the flashlights oh. up! Oh, no. No, no. Back, emergency. Execute program 822. 822? What's the problem? Execute program 822. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, God damn it. Oh, my God. What's wrong? What do you got? It's gone. All of it. I've lost Kingsfield's brief and all the footnotes. What? Well, look for yourself. The power cut off, and I was disconnected from the central computer right in the middle of my work. I can't find anything. Well, look for yourself, you asshole. All we've got left is snow. Now, what am I going to do? Uh, you can find your work, right? It took me hours just to figure out how to get it in there. I will never find it. I mean, I think the, the storm has probably erased it. But you remember what you've written. You took notes. The computer took the notes. I don't know what to do. You idiot! Damn it, Mark. Come on. Yeah, 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 Lars there. What? To win? Thursday's not good enough! Professor, when Golden became ill, he turned your brief over to me and I fed it into that computer. The S-28 terminal, I presume. Linked to the university's central computer bank. Yes. So, you understand? I understand the facts, yes. You've laid them before me quite clearly. Mr. Hart, technology is changing all of our lives. When I was a young man, copies of important papers were duplicated using a screw press. They were then bound into a copy book. The entire process took perhaps two hours. And this for a simple letter. The Xerox machine has changed all that. I am aware of the S-28. In fact, I recommended that it be installed in the law review. Well, then you realize well, with the storm, it was an accident. I realize everything. What I do not comprehend is your imbecility in practicing on the S-28 with my brief. Adaptation to technology requires time and effort. Yet you, in your infinite wisdom, decided to use a brief which must be filed tomorrow with the Federal Circuit Court as your practice material. That I do not understand. I didn't want to use the S-28. I hate it. Were you or were you not responsible for my brief? Yes. And do not offer me excuses. I shall now have to file a motion requiring more time to file my brief. I do not relish the thought. I have never requested more time in my entire 80 years. Oh, well, couldn't you just say that the snowstorm, sir, made it impossible Mr. for you Hart, the snowstorm has nothing to do with it. The mistake is entirely mine. When Mr. Golden fell ill, I should have immediately taken over all sections of the brief. Trusting the footnotes to a second-year student was a grave mistake. 
you learn nothing else at this law school, let this teach you that a lawyer never blames failure on an outside factor. Good day. Professor Kingsfield. Mr. Hart, I do not intend to spend the morning discussing moral philosophy with you. You're in charge of your conscience, I of mine. Will you please leave? Where the hell have you been? Talking to Kingsfield. Without asking me? What's the matter with you? Don't you know that everything gets cleared through me, or haven't you been paying attention? Look, you lost Kingsfield's brief, so I'm going to give you an assistant. You're going to work all night and hand it into him by tomorrow morning. I don't work for Kingsfield anymore. Neither does the law review. To give it to you straight, we've been fired. I'm going to kill you for this, Hart. God damn it, this was my chance to prove myself to Kingsfield. You ruined me. You've ruined the review. Mm -hmm. Come on, Shaw, back Let off. go, let go, I'm okay. Let go of me, okay, okay. Hart, don't take it this way. You didn't do anything wrong. A computer in the storm did it. And Kingsfield let you off the hook. Not just Kingsfield, I let Golden down, too. God, I should have stood up to show in the beginning, but I didn't. We need a wonk. Well, better get up to the hospital. Golden has to hear about this. It might as well be for me. At least I have the guts for that. You want me to go with you? A wonk! That's exactly what we need. It's all right, Belle. Thank you. There's something I have to do on my own. Sit down, Hart. Where is your initiative? You can't give up on this this easily. James, just because you've been fired, taken off the case, doesn't mean you can't be rehired. No, there's no time to do the work. Kingsfield is filing for a motion of an extension of time right now. No one can do the footnotes in one night. Maybe nobody has to. Yeah, but if we're going to do something about it, we better get going. Let's move out. Where? To find a wonk. What, what is a walk? Well, they're those kind of people you can never understand. But you can identify them from their nerd packs. Well, what's a nerd pack? No, oh, those plastic things you put in your pocket so the penny doesn't ruin your shirt. In the old days, you could always tell them because they wore their slide rules on their belts. Yeah. Now they wear those pocket calculators. You're talking about an engineering major. No, no, no. If that's all we needed, it'd be easy. A walk is something special. He's a genius. So smart. He doesn't even care how he looks. That's why he wears a nerd pack. Another thing about wonks is that they hang out in groups. They're so damn smart, the only people they can talk to is each other. Personally, I hate them. I don't think we had any wonks at the University of Minnesota. I'm sure you did. You just never noticed them. You know, they're the kind of guys who just kind of creep along. They're very quiet. And they're always wearing socks that don't match. And they don't even care. They don't even realize it. Now he's sitting in the back of class and falling asleep because they're so much smarter than the professors, they're bored by his lectures. And female wonks never wear stockings and they're always laughing at William F. Buckley jokes. <laughs> we're getting close. One thing's in our favor. Wonks never sleep. Usually they only come out at nighttime. That may be why you've never noticed them before. Well, one question. Why are they called wonks? I don't know. That's a good point. I think at other schools they're called nerds sometimes. But for some damn reason here they've been called wonks for years. Come on. Leave this to me. Hi there. Something we can do for you? This is a restricted area. You're here. We have special permission from the engineering department to use Susie after hours. Susie? The big girl back there. The university's mainframe central computer. You have passes. Uh, um, actually, we're uh, we're from the law school. We're looking for a one. Should I call security? Call security. No, call security. 
God's sake, you want to blow everything? We need these guys. Don't say wrong, don't say nerd pack, don't say anything. I think there should be more communication between the different sections of the university. Don't you? Not particularly. Law school students, huh? Your briefs are showing. Uh, you look like you're doing some really interesting work there, honey. What do you guys really want? No law school student ever comes over here. Actually, we do have a little problem. Yeah, and uh, it involves computers. Uh, you seem to understand them awfully well. I was wondering if you might accompany us over to the law school for just a few hours. You're nuts. Weirdos. Slate, I gotta get going. Me too. Oh, all right. Uh, I'll tuck Susie in. Put her on standby. I'll Check. see you tomorrow night. Right. Same time, Got same it. place. Same place. Good. Good night, Susie. Free, huh? Excuse me. This is kidnapping! I don't think it's kidnapping. Where's your proof? Where's your witnesses? You think it's kidnapping for? Oh, definitely not. No. Mr. Herman, I want to tell you how very grateful I am to you for working to promote harmony in the university by collaborating with law students in this joint nice venture. Nice fella, nice fella. Right down here, Mr. Herman. Hi. This is law school? This is the Law Review? This is a mess. Yes, well, we've had a little trouble lately, but it'll get straightened out, I hope. You guys don't need an engineer. You need a maid. Well, you know, Herman, that's right. They do need a maid. But right now, Hart needs your help. Show me the machine. Now. Could someone explain to me the exact nature of the problem? Yeah, I was sitting right where you are now, and I had mm -hmm. typed in a lot of information for an important mm -hmm. brief. Mm -hmm. It's like a paper. Mm -hmm. And I, um, I was trying to follow the instructions mm -hmm. when suddenly mm -hmm. the, the power cut mm -hmm. out. Okay. The S28 is hooked directly into Susie, and Susie automatically makes an extra copy of everything that is typed into her, uh, just in case there is a power failure or some problem. So. You didn't erase your notes. You couldn't have. You lost them. You understand? Mm -hmm. You do understand? Yeah. Okay. How did you code your material? Code it? I see. No code. So your little paper is floating around somewhere inside of Susie, uh, and it doesn't have a name or a number. Is that a problem? <laughs> not for me. It's not my paper. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Hart. Do you know the size of Susie's memory? 40,000 megabytes. I mean, in your language, let's see how I can explain this. Uh, uh, think of Susie as a map of the world. And you've been traveling all over the world, and someplace you dropped a dime. Now, you have to go back and find it. Oh, then we're doomed. Uh, not necessarily. You see, I'm a genius. Susie loves me. Hart, would you like your dime? Please. Thank you. No, you don't. But she does. <sighs> See you guys. Oh, what a guy! What a walk! What a kiss! <laughs> <laughs> Who is that?
that? I've got it. It's saved. What? Kingsfield's brief. I've got all the footnotes. You're kidding. No! Oh, my God. That's great. Uh, look, I can, I can satisfy Kingsfield. I can, I can impress him with our new angles and uh, get him out the best review in years. Look, everybody, we're going to go back to work. Uh, we were down, but we got a chance now. Zeiss, I want to talk to you about that article on the law of outer space. We're not doing that piece. Zeiss, get to work on the original assignment I gave you. That's your wrong piece of two hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shaw, where's your work on the Walker article? Well, then I've been very busy keeping the ship running smoothly. Well, drop anchor and get to work. Hart, you have any trouble with the Kingsfield brief? No. Good, leave it. Uh. <clears throat> Hart, run it over to Kingsfield. Now it's midnight, you'll be asleep. He never sleeps the night before he has an important brief to. Now wrap your butt up in something warm and get moving. Okay, everybody, let's move it. We have an issue to get out. All right. All right. All right. now. Mr. Hart, I hope for your sake this packet contains Professor Kingsfield's footnotes. He is not in a good mood tonight. Yes? Um, I have the footnotes for your brief, sir. And they've been reviewed by Golden. And he says they're fine. I have not reviewed them, and that is what matters, isn't it? What, may I ask, do you think you're doing? Oh, just leaving. You're leaving for nowhere, Mr. Hart. Nottingham will require assistance in collating these papers you've just given me. Furthermore, since we are filing this brief on time, I shall require a student, you, to go to the library for additional research. <laughs> Candle, Nottingham. You don't have all night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 